I'm Aurélie Kalinga. It's day 165 of the lockdown. The coronavirus death toll in South Africa has breached the 15,000 mark and the health ministry says 115 more people have died after contracting the virus. Over the past day, 854 new infections were also picked up, pushing the number of known cases in this country to 639,000. The recovery rate stands at 88.6%, meaning that more than 566,000 people have so far recovered. South Africans should get a better picture today of the damage caused by the COVID-19 lockdown to the economy. Stats SA is set to release the country's gross domestic product figure for the second quarter, which includes economic activity that came to a halt under the lockdown. South Africa joined the world in taking precautions against the deadly virus, but it didn't only leave hundreds of thousands of people in hospital, it also crippled economies. The Reserve Bank is predicting a contraction of around 7.3% for 2020. The last time a figure of this magnitude appeared for South Africa was in 1931 during the Great Depression when output fell by 6.2%. Now, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres says the global pandemic is exacerbating the considerable hurdles women face in achieving their rights and fulfilling their potential. He's warning the global health crisis has already reversed decades of limited and fragile progress on gender equality and women's rights. Meanwhile, it's been confirmed that men have a higher risk of dying from COVID-19. That's one of the findings of a local population cohort study done by universities, the National Health Department and Medical Research Council. Now, they were probing risk factors for COVID-19 deaths in sub-Saharan Africa. For more on the pandemic, you can go to ewn.co.za forward slash coronavirus. And remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel.